guys, welcome to another episode where we make easy meals. Today we are making a comfort food, which is chicken pot pie. It takes less than about eight minutes, so let's get started. All right, it is done. Look at that comfort food right there. Nice and just creamy in the inside. Only took eight minutes and dinner served. I'm just kidding. All right, let's get to this recipe. So first off, you're gonna wanna use a pan. You can get these anywhere. They're like a dollar sometimes, but you can use your own pan as well. You're gonna want a rotisserie chicken. You can buy these from Walmart Publix. They're not too expensive, depending on how big size you're making. One or two works perfect. So the first step is you're gonna take one stick of butter and you're gonna melt the butter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. About 30 seconds in the microwave. Now, while the butter is melting, you can go ahead and take your rotisserie chicken and shred it up, you know, take all the meat off of it and put it aside while that's being melted. After you put the butter in the microwave, go ahead and set your oven to 375 degrees. Now that the butter is completely melted, you're gonna go ahead and pour that at the bottom of your pan. Now you're going to add your shredded chicken And make sure you know get it mixed around like this because once you are done you're not going to touch it again then you're going to use any kind of mixed vegetables um you can use just carrots and green beans or whatever you prefer this is all they had so we're using this one here so you're going to pour this on top next step is you're going to get your measuring cup you're going to add two cups of milk and then you're gonna add biscuit mix. I'm gonna use the Red Lobster mix because I really like the flavor of it. So I'm gonna use the whole package. So you're gonna pour that into here. Then you're gonna go ahead and mix it. Once that's mixed, I'm gonna add the little package that it comes with. You can opt out of this, it's up to you, but it gives it good flavor. And I'm gonna go ahead and mix that into the batter. Now you're gonna take this and you're gonna drizzle it over the chicken and vegetables. And do not stir this. So the next step is you're gonna get chicken stock and you're gonna use two cups. Then you're going to go ahead and get a can of chicken of cream soup. Open this up. Then you're gonna go ahead and mix this all together too. Give it a good mix so it's broken up. Once you have that mixed up now, you're gonna take this and you're gonna pour it on top of your mix. And again, you do not want to mix any of this. I know it looks disgusting and you wanna mix it and you're thinking, what are you doing? But I promise you, it's amazing. That's it for this. Now we're gonna put this in the oven for 45 minutes uncovered and your dinner will be done. So don't forget to set your oven to 375, have it preheated and ready. So now we're just gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. All right, so now we're gonna close the oven, set the timer for 45 minutes. And now while we wait, I'm gonna go ahead and share a relaxing video with you guys. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you back in 45 minutes. So now that our chicken pot pie is done, we're gonna get it out of the oven. Look at that masterpiece. It looks beautiful, it's nice and crisp. I did put it on broil just to brown the top up a little bit more and that's why it looks the way it did. But dinner's done as you can see and it was easy and you can do it, I can do it, anybody can do it. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut into this bad boy and show you what the inside looks like. In here, if you come a little closer, the nice brunch of the bread. Scoop, if I can scoop my, look at that. And I'm gonna tell you, it is amazing. I've already made this two times and it is one of my favorite dishes. It's easy, it's good, it's comfort food. You will enjoy it. Please try it if you like chicken papaya. You can also use turkey, so you don't have to just use chicken in it.
Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, have your bell on. You don't want to miss any of these amazing recipes that we're going to be having coming up as well. Have a special one for Valentine's Day too. Make sure you give it a like, comment down below if you try this recipe and let me know your thoughts on it. Until next time guys, see ya.